If you look at the world of space technology today, most of the headlines are dominated by SpaceX. This prominence isn't without reason. It's due to their constant progress and groundbreaking achievements. Recently, SpaceX once again reached an important milestone with their Starship rocket. But before we delve deeper into this exciting development, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates on the Starship and SpaceX's other significant missions. Let's start with the recent developments at SpaceX's Starbase facility. In a significant move signaling readiness for an impending launch, SpaceX installed the flight termination system explosives on the Starship. This system is crucial for ensuring the safety of the launch, as it enables the controlled destruction of the vehicle in case of any anomalies during the flight. The installation of the flight termination system is often one of the final steps before launch and indicates that SpaceX is gearing up for a mission soon. In every rocket licensed for launch, a flight termination system is mandatory. It consists of a series of explosives connected to a computer system within the rocket. These explosives are strategically placed in parts of the vehicle, where they can quickly dismantle the rocket without causing a massive explosion or igniting the remaining fuel. This safety mechanism is crucial for protecting not just the launch area, but also the surrounding regions from any potential fallout in the event of a launch failure. SpaceX's Starship Flight Termination System represents a significant advancement in rocket safety technology especially when compared to the systems used in historical NASA rockets. For instance, if we consider NASA's Space Shuttle, its flight termination system was primarily designed for the solid rocket boosters and the external tank, and it functioned under a different set of protocols and technologies. The Space Shuttle's flight termination system was a necessary component due to the inherent risks of launching large human-crewed space vehicles. It was a relatively straightforward system designed to terminate the flight if the shuttle veered off course or if a catastrophic failure was imminent. The system could be activated from the ground, ensuring that any threat to populated areas due to an errant flight path could be mitigated. This was a crucial aspect, especially in light of the Challenger disaster which highlighted the risks of spaceflight. Comparatively, SpaceX's flight termination system on the Starship exhibits several key advancements. The addition of an extra explosive charge to the methane tank above the common dome is a strategic enhancement. This specific placement allows for a more controlled and effective demolition process. In an emergency, this setup is designed to mix the rocket's fuel and oxidizer to create a more substantial yet contained explosion, ensuring the disassembly of the vehicle while minimizing the risk of uncontrolled debris or damage. The April 20th incident involving the first launch of the Starship serves as a critical case study in understanding the vital role of the flight termination system. During this launch, the rocket experienced a failure during stage separation, a highly critical phase of the launch sequence. In response to this failure, SpaceX activated the flight termination system, a decision that underscores the system's importance in ensuring safety during unforeseen events. The activation of the flight termination system in this scenario was crucial. When the rocket failed during stage separation, there was a significant risk of uncontrolled trajectory or other hazardous outcomes. By activating the flight termination system, SpaceX was able to safely neutralize the rocket, thereby preventing further complications or potential damage. Following this event, SpaceX undertook a rigorous review and refinement of the flight termination system for their Starship program. This process involved analyzing every aspect of the incident to understand how the system functioned under real-life conditions and identifying areas for improvement. These improvements included several key areas. Firstly, SpaceX enhanced the system's ability to respond more quickly and accurately to anomalies during flight. This means that the system can now make faster decisions based on real-time data, which is crucial during the critical moments of a launch. Additionally, the integration of the flight termination system with other onboard systems was improved, ensuring better coordination and efficiency. Moreover, SpaceX also focused on refining the safety protocols surrounding the system. 
This included ensuring that all necessary checks and balances were in place before the launch, during the flight, and at the point of any potential system activation. The goal was to ensure that the flight termination system would function flawlessly in any scenario, thereby upholding the highest standards of safety. However, SpaceX has innovated by integrating more autonomous elements into their system. In the Falcon 9, for example, there's an advanced safety protocol that autonomously manages whether the system is active or inactive. This means the system can independently ensure its own safety status during various stages of the flight. Such an approach minimizes the need for ground-based decisions, enhancing the overall safety and reliability of the mission. This is a clear shift towards more advanced self-reliant safety measures in spaceflight. Another point of difference lies in the technological evolution of the flight termination system. SpaceX's approach reflects a more comprehensive understanding of rocket dynamics and the integration of advanced computing and sensor technology. This allows for more precise calculations and decisions regarding the use of the flight termination system, adapting to the specific requirements of each mission. Furthermore, SpaceX's commitment to reusability in its Starship program necessitates a more sophisticated flight termination system. Unlike the Space Shuttle, which was partially reusable, Starship is designed to be fully reusable, demanding a higher level of precision and safety in all its systems. This reusability factor pushes the boundaries of traditional flight termination system design, requiring innovations that accommodate the unique challenges of safely landing and relaunching a spacecraft multiple times. With a potential launch date on the horizon, the anticipation is mounting. There is a whirlwind of speculation and excitement within the space community. While there is currently no official confirmation of a launch license, Recent developments at SpaceX's Starbase facility provide strong hints. The installation of the flight termination system, a critical safety mechanism typically added only when a launch is imminent, suggests that SpaceX is actively preparing for a launch. This development is a clear indicator of the progress and the readiness of the Starship for its next significant leap. Industry experts and enthusiasts are eyeing a potential launch window that could be just around the corner. Sources close to the project hint at a launch date possibly within the next few weeks to months, making this period an exciting time for everyone following SpaceX's endeavors. This anticipated launch date is not just a routine milestone. It is a crucial step in the Starship's journey, marking a pivotal moment in SpaceX's ambitious plan to revolutionize space travel. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.